Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film this glamorous but affordable drugstore makeup tutorial. I'm going to be using all affordable products including brushes. So if you want to see how I achieve this easy glamorous look, then just keep watching. First up, I'm going to be priming my skin using the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Primer. It's kind of like a wet primer, quite moisturising. So it's not like the silicone based ones that I tend to use. So if you've got kind of more dry skin, then I definitely recommend this primer. Then for my base, I'm going to be using the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. And I'm using the shade 33 Beige Rose. I've forgotten how nice this base is. It's not dewy or shiny, it's just a really kind of natural finish. It just evens out your skin tone, but doesn't kind of cover up like everything. I mean, I can still very much see my freckles through it. Then moving on to my brows, I'm going to be using the Brow Archery by Soap and Glory. Then of course I'm going to be setting them with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. concealer to prime my eyes and the one I've got which I'm going to be using later is the Maybelline Master Conceal. If you're going to be using concealer to prime your eyes and you want something to set that in place to avoid it creasing so I'm just going to get a little bit of face powder and the one I've got is the Bourjois Healthy Balance one. And this will also make it much easier when you're applying eyeshadow on top because that you've got that powdery base it will just make blending eyeshadow on top much more easily. I'm going to start off with a transition shade and I am going to use this shade from the Morphe 35O palette and it's just kind of like a light peachy brown shade. I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush and just take it straight kind of into the crease area. Not really being neat and I like to focus most of the product on the outside half of the eye and work my way inwards. Then I'm going to go in with a colour that's like one or two shades darker. Um, I'm going to go in with it's this shade and again I'm just going to take that in the crease but I'm going to again focus it on the outer half of the crease where most of the product will go and once I've Kind of dispense most of the product on the lid I start dragging the brush inwards towards the inner corner and layering these shadows will just kind of give a really nice soft gradient effect on the eyes everything will just look a lot more blended and seamless then for the lid shade I'm going to go in with something quite light and quite bright and I'm going to go in with this light peachy metallic shade and I'm just taking that on a flat brush and applying it to the mobile part of the lid. Then to really define the outside corner and add a little bit of a smoky haze, I'm gonna go in with this kind of really rich metallic dark brown shade. I'm literally gonna apply it to the very kind of outside corner of the eye. Uh, taking it up into the crease but not really taking it far in at all I just really want to concentrate that depth and smokiness on the outside corner I'm just going to continue to layer this until I get the intensity that I want then I'm going to go back to the brush that I used to apply the kind of transition shade I'm just going to slightly soften out that top edge of the dark shade that we applied just so that it's not sitting too harsh in that crease and it's a bit more well blended in with the transition shades. But I don't want to blend it out too much because I really want to keep that kind of darkness and intensity. I'm going to curl my lashes now and I might even go back and intensify the outer corners even more but I want to do that after I've applied eyeliner. Um, because I can tell how much darker I can afford to go. I'm going to line my top lash line with the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner 24 hours. 
always a bit of a mouthful to say. I don't think I'm going to do too much of a wing, maybe just a tiny flick. And I'm going to take that onto my waterline as well. Then for mascara, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal False Lash Architect 4 Dimensions Effect Fibers Waterproof Mascara, which if you saw my Best of Beauty 2015 video, this was my favourite mascara of last year. Okay, then moving back to the eyes, um, I'm going to go in with a really, really dark brown matte shade, and I'm going to basically apply that to the very outer corner and intensify the outer V even more. I'm taking a really small pencil brush to do this because I don't want to get it everywhere. I really just want to focus it right on the outer corner. And then taking the tapered brush which I use to apply the dark metallic brown shade um, with no extra product, I'm just going to softly blend out that dark matte brown shade again so it blends in a little bit more seamlessly with the rest of the colours on the eye and then taking the first brush where we used to apply the transition shade I'm just going to soften out the very top edge and again no additional product just using whatever's left on the brush from before I'm just going to soften out that edge just want it to look like a really soft gradient effect and if you want it to be even more darker, just continue to kind of build until you get to the kind of intensity and the depth that you want. Um, and it might mean just going back and forth, repeating the steps a few times. You do kind of blend some of the intensity away. But unless you blend, you won't get rid of any kind of harsh edges or harsh lines. And as you can see on my right eye, it's a lot more kind of darker and more intense on the outer corner compared to this eye. So I'm just going to repeat that last step on the left eye and I'll be right back. Now I always go in with the darker shades with the smallest brush. That's just the way it works. So the darker you go, the smaller the brush you use. Because you don't want the darkness just to go everywhere and it kind of explode all over your eyes. So you have to really keep it contained. And the way to do that is stick with a smaller brush. Before I move on to finish the bottom of the eyes, I'm going to go in and apply some false lashes. I think I'm going to just use the eye little ones by Fleur de Force, and it's in the style Fleur Loves. To conceal my under eye bags, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Conceal. And I'm going to take a little bit of the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age the eraser eye and just apply that beneath that concealer and this is just going to really brighten up the under eye area and using my damp real techniques miracle complexion sponge i'm just going to start pouncing that under the eye area and start blending out all of that concealer <music> balance powder and I'm using the shade 52. Along my lash line I am gonna mix the first two shades that I applied to the lid so that really light kind of peachy shade and the slightly darker warm peachy shade and I'm literally just gonna run that along the whole way of the bottom lash line from outer corner to inner corner. Then I'm going to take that dark metallic brown shade that we use on the outer corner of the eyes and I'm going to run that on the outside half of the bottom lash line and that will certainly kind of define the eyes a little more as well. And then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to take the darkest brown shade in the palette, the one that we use in the very outer corner in the outer V and I'm going to apply that tightly along the bottom lash line, just concentrating on the outer kind of third Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of Makeup Geeks Corrupt, which is a really kind of rich matte black eyeshadow because I really want that outer corner to be really dark and smoky along that lash line. And that dark brown 
in the Morphe 35 O palette really wasn't cutting it. Right, then I'm going to go in with a little bit of mascara for the bottom lashes of course. To highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I am going to go in with Colourpop's Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. And this is a really beautiful kind of champagne white highlighter. And for my brow bone, I'm just going to take this off white matte shade in the 35O palette. Just run it right under the outside half of my brow, just from the arch. Outwards. I don't have a drugstore contour powder, but I do have a little bit of a cheat. In the Morphe 35O palette, in the third row, the second shade in, you've got this really kind of light, cool tone brown. It's got a slight grey tinge to it, and I reckon that this could potentially be a really nice contour powder. So, I think I'm going to test it out for the first time. Now, this could go totally wrong. And in that case, I'll edit it out so that you won't see this section of the film. Here goes. I actually think that's a really nice contour colour. And it definitely has that really nice, like, grey undertone that kind of makes it shadow-like. There you go. If you need a contour powder, check out the 35O palette. <music> any excess product you see my videos I like to run it along my jawline hide that double chin also gonna take a little bit of that or whatever's left on the brush and just run it down the side of my nose Add a little more definition to the nose then for bronzer I am going to use the bourgeois bronzing powder and this is that chocolate one that supposedly smells like chocolate doesn't really smell like chocolate. It smells kind of sweet, but more kind of vanilla-y sweet rather than chocolate sweet. Should I have actually applied concealer before I started applying powder to the face? So let's go back and um, add a little bit of concealer, mainly kind of around my nose area because I tend to struggle with redness around there. here as well that needs covering up and then just taking my real techniques miracle complexion sponge again and I use the kind of tapered end to get right into the crooks of my nose <laughs> To highlight the tops of my cheekbone, I'm going to go in with the same Colourpop um, Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. I'm going to just work it into the tops of my cheekbone, just using my fingers to pat it in. And then for blush, I am going to go in with Milani's Illuminating Face Powder, it's, and this is in the shade 02 Hermosa Rose. And then for lips, I'm going to go in with Maybelline's Colour Sensational Lipstick in the shade 630 Velvet Beige. Right, then I'm going to set my makeup in place using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray. And this is the completed look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this really glamorous yet affordable makeup tutorial using really affordable makeup products, most of which you can get from your local high street or your local drugstore or even online. If you did enjoy this makeup tutorial then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!